Facebook.com slash Froggy981. We got cheater stories coming up for you after 7.30 this morning. If you have one you want to share, 474 Frog. Text the show. Text us your cheater story. And if it's right on the air, you could win concert tickets to a show coming soon. Last Thursday, we had Why Am I So Single with Michael Tish Jewelers going on. And uh, we had... This is pretty dangerous of you. You've been booking friends. Yeah. And, it's the and, perfect excuse to finally hook them up. Well, and family members, too. You, you're yeah. trying to... And I appreciate that because you're trying to book the show, you know? Like, well, sure. whatever you can get, you can get. Now, the guy that we had on last Thursday, if this were... If you were to rewind... 15 years ago, he would not need this show. No. And, not, and I don't even know if he needs it now. But back in the day, he was he was one of the lead guys for a band called Cactus Hill. I didn't know he, he opened a couple Frog Fests, too. Cactus Hill did, yeah. yeah they I were, had no idea. How is that possible? Yeah, so yeah. It, wasn't even that, it wasn't even that long ago then. No. Because how many Frog Fests we've had? Eight? Eight. But COVID kind of screwed that up, so go back about 10 years or so. Yeah. Were they at Frog Fest? I, yeah, don't, I guess I don't even remember that. They Billy did. Billy Carrington twice. So Is would that right? have been the first and the second, or first and fourth or Probably something? Probably right around yeah. there, yeah. Well, Bobby was one of the lead guys, and, um, you know, he didn't have any problem with the girls. And no. now, fast forward, I think he's been married and divorced, and I know he has children. Yep. And your life changes just a little bit, you know what I mean? What you're looking for, and um, so we matched him up with what was her name? Mandy. Mandy. Yep, Mandy the, from Georgia, who just moved here a couple years Southern ago. Southern Belle. Oh, Southern yeah. Peach is what is it? Is there a Peach? Georgia Peach. Georgia Southern Peach. Southern Belle. Belle. Yeah. You're combining them. <laughs> I know I am. So this is just a little clip. There, there was a ton of chemistry between the two last Thursday. You can go back and watch the show if you want, and. And then you tie in to that, you add to that the fact that we had double steals for each of those. Like, it got a little sloppy last week during the show, which we we always welcome. We encourage, yeah. But they ended up ultimately choosing one another. And this is just a little quick clip from their date, uh, on-air date last Thursday. It's 15 years. Wait a minute. That's not it, is it? Please tell me. I don't know if you like exactly. Vegas. But okay, yeah, there it is. All right, here's a little clip from their uh, from their date last week. I don't know if you like exactly. Vegas, but Vegas is always a good one. I have never been to Vegas. It is oh, the bucket list, so oh. <laughs> definitely yeah. would be an opportunity. I would love to do that. Yeah, so that's just a little bit. The, the entire date was really, really smooth. Their conversation. Nothing awkward no, for uh-uh. us listening. No. But now we have to find out whether or not there's anything going on with these two. I mean, did it... Did it grow into anything over the weekend or not? Now, you told me Friday or maybe it was Thursday. Now, don't tell me anything because you already know I'm details. Not, no. That they were That he was talking about a date already, about maybe going on a date over the weekend. Yeah, he had a weekend off. Uh-huh. So, did they go on a date? Did it go well? Did he change his mind? Is she not interested? Where, where are we with this? Uh, we're going to find out in just a minute. I don't think they went on the date. That's my guess. Not yet. See, now you're giving me clues already, which means they're already talking if you Did say they? not yet. Or didn't they? I don't know. He also did babysit my daughter all weekend. But I don't know. Uh, is he ready to go, Bobby? No, we don't have Kenny. Don't get too nervous. <laughs> You made him jump. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna add Bobby to the show and find out where they are with her. Why am I still single? Update with Michael Tischulers. We'll do that when we come back. Gary and Johanna in the morning. These levels are all out of whack, man. Good morning, everybody. Do you want me to text him, or is he? Um, yeah, if you want, or if you have the link handy. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, all right. Our lips are matching. Yay. That's a good way to start the week out. Uh, Yeah, Bobby. I saw, uh, little Iggy. 
Wait, you did? No, just on FaceTime. Oh, okay. He's blonde. Yeah. All, yeah. Both my kids started out very blonde. Really? And then it just changed within the first couple yeah. years. Yeah. I feel like that's... Georgia, I did not try it yet. I meant to try it over the weekend, but I'm going to. I'm curious about it. Yeah, I've heard I've heard good things. What? About that. Have you? Passion stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a friend who's... I, I can't have it because of caffeine. Zero caffeine girl. Man, I don't see how you do that. I don't either. Because your bad heart? Yeah. My bad heart. It's not bad. It's Is just it good? sensitive. No, that means a bad heart. <laughs> I have a little valve prolapse. Just a teeny little one. Gary, remember Jake from Coke two weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, what about him? Something happened with him? He trying to get with Rachel, the realtor. I saw his Facebook when I was going through messages. It looked like it was not active anymore. <clears throat> Is he too broken hearted? Josh, what do you mean? Do it. Do it during work. Drink it when you get up tomorrow morning. You're always complaining about being tired about an hour into the show. Drink it at like six. <laughs> He's your neighbor, Josh. Get out of here. Oh. No way. No way. way. Did That's you have a crazy. good experience on the air? Audra. We don't know when Corey is on and when he's not on. He starts at 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah, 10. Did you like him? He's a little soft-spoken. Audra. No, it was an Audrey who had a crush on him. Yeah. I guess his vision is really, really bad. It is? Yeah. None of us have good vision, though. No, like his is worse. Like, really. I didn't even know that. Like, you see the font on this? Yeah. He said he's going to have to make it like oh, yeah, the letters huge. like that That's big. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've s- seen him at the gas station. Who? <clears throat> Josh said that about Jake. You saw him at the gas station? Realized he's your neighbor. I recognize the truck oh. and that he lives two houses down. We Get talked for a here. bit. What a small world. Yeah. Are you in Lincoln? Oh, Bob said his Zoom is almost done updating. It made him update it. We talked a little bit about the girl. He, he is. is. There. We'll go. We'll go on after the song with him. And we talk a little bit about the girl. She's the one that got away. <clears throat> yeah, well, we know. That's a lot of pressure, though, for a guy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what you've mean? got to make the first impression. The first impression has got to be perfect. You have to get them so right you're now. Saying- Stocking bottles is not the best first impression. Maybe not. I think I would have stopped. I know he had to keep doing his job, but I think I would have paused. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But it also shows what kind of worker he is. Like he's a good employee. Yeah. No crush for me. Yeah, I think that was Audrey. Seems like he'll blend. Right in with both of you. I well. think he'll blend in well. He seems yeah. like it so far. I haven't no red flags yet. But you never know. Like earrings. He was nice in the beginning, then he ended up being a <laughs> jerk. And then he was nice again. Gotta keep you on your toes. I don't know. Right? Maybe that's maybe that's part of it. Kenny, you don't have to say anything audibly, but just nod your head yes or no. Was he was earrings ever a jerk to you? Yes. <laughs> you said what he nodded. I I know. He didn't have to verbally say it, but I'll read his head. Uh, I think Man, Kenny he thought his, his head to nod me. was going to be private. Did you think it was going to be private, Kenny? Nod. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kenny's the best. Yeah, he was not impressed by Just Be Friends. Well, it's the risk you he take He wasn't impressed by Just Be Friends. That's on you, man. Yeah. No, that's just the risk you take in dating, period. It's on Coke, man. Yeah. I mean, y- you are the one. You have to impress her. Yeah. Right. I probably would have just stopped what I was doing if I was taking the chance of coming on. Yeah. But 
Maybe he was trying to show off his multitasking skills. That's impressive. Good morning, Scott Schwabster. Hey, just like we told Scott, I don't know how many spots we have on this bus, but right. we do have room for people that want to go on Thursday to the uh, farm tour, Luke Bryan farm tour, that want to just ride the bus up. We may have some room for you. The Tracy's Collision Cam is live. Facebook.com slash Froggy981. What's up with, um, what's her name again? Bobby and what's her name? Mandy. Mandy. Write that down. What's up with Bobby and Mandy? They were on the show last Thursday for Why Am I Still Single? Now, uh, Megan is friends with Bobby. Yeah. They're buddies. That's how we got him on the show. Bobby is the old, he is the old uh, Cactus Hill, one of the lead singers of the band that's no longer. So... If you ever went to one of the shows back in the day, this is the guy that we have on here. He is uh, single and, and ready to put himself out there again, I think after being recently... Divorced. Divorced, yeah. yeah. It's been a good year, year and a half, Oh, it's I been a say. little bit. Yeah. So he was on the show last Thursday, and we matched him up with Mandy. Mandy is uh, from the South. She's got a little bit of a Southern draw to her, and, and their conversation was great if you listen or watch the show last week. Everybody wanted them to to be together. But both of them were tempted by steals. So we had steal options for both of them. Both of them said, yeah, I'll entertain it. And then they ended up... Curiosity was there. They ended up ultimately still choosing one another. They took the blindfolds off, and then they decided, yes, let's exchange information. So that's where we are right now. Uh, We're going to bring Bobby on the show here this morning to give us an update and let us know... If there's anything that's going on with the two of them. What was your guess? Or if they're just going to be friends. I think they're just going to be friends. That's that's my guess, and, and I don't I don't know. Bobby's walking around his house. Bob. <laughs> Connecting to audio right now. He's got some nice art. For a man, is this his house? He just moved recently. For a man, that's looking good. <laughs> like when I was divorced, <laughs> it, was, it looked bad. Like, I had no art or anything. He has art in his house. He does, Did you yeah. see that? What's going on up in here? Hey, just, Bobby, what's the art? The artwork. You did not pick that out. What girl picked That's that out? fine piece. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Look, we've got a couple Casey donuts there from the, from the <laughs> kids. Like I said, I had a rampage in here. Uh, Fifty-two kids over the weekend. Yeah, That's what we my heard. My daughter moved in. Yeah, we heard Megan's weekend. daughter was over there. Was she a trouble? Troublemaker? He was trying to sling some diamond rings. She brought a few things from her grandma's drawer. She did. My my daughter took my mom's wedding bands over to his house. What? And didn't tell anybody. So I had to text Bob, and I'm like, she's got to go. Get like, we got to get here. these rings. Wow. Yeah. Just like Mama wearing those diamonds around town. Uh, Bobby. We're going to go visit the local pawn shop, but Peggy came quick. <laughs> Bobby, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about, your girl, or not, I don't know if it's your girl or not, but Mandy, the girl that was matched up with you last week, you guys ended up not not uh, taking the steal options, and, and both of you decided to exchange information. Now, it's time for us to guess before you tell us what's going on with the two of you, and it's really just me guessing. Kenny can nod. We'll just have him nod <laughs> how he's feeling about this. I think that you guys are just friends. Don't say anything, Bobby. I don't think that you, I don't even think you went on a date. Um, Megan told me that you guys were talking about dating, but I think that ultimately you're just going to be friends. Megan has to recuse herself. She knows what's going on. Kenny, do you think that they're still together? Just nod your head. You can't see him on the Tracy's Collision Cam. Kenny says yes. He's nodding his head, thinking that you guys are still working working it out, and there's still possibly a, a love connection here. So what is going on with the two of you? Well, I, you ready for the answer? Yeah, ready for the answer. Okay. I just didn't want to spoil anything. Nope. Um, so yeah, we did. We we hung out Saturday afternoon, and uh, we 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 got some ice cream and walked South Point Mall for about an hour. And wait a minute, was OBs. that during Bobby? I don't mean to interrupt. Was that during the football game? It was far enough into the football game where there was there was no hope. <laughs> Okay. I it tried. was basically far enough to where I could cheer on her Georgia team right. that went on to, to a good victory. So okay. we, we just celebrated that. Gotcha. And like I said, we tore up some ice cream and uh, and, and had great discussion. I'm telling you, she, she is, Mandy, 
did well as far as picking one of the probably the nicest people out on the planet. She's she's cool, and I probably wouldn't have met her um, outside of the show. So yeah, at this point, she's amazing. She's a great friend, and and you know we definitely have plans to to hang out again. Yeah, you know, who knows? Well, I think I picked up. She's a great friend in there. I mean, is that is that where this is going? Probably more than uh, you know a love interest. Every well, relationship starts out as I've, I've, I've jumped the gun several times, and uh, I'm still single. So taking this, we're just gonna let it, let time take its place, and, and continue to hang out and talk and text. And yeah, I'm sure she's probably just a nervous wreck at work, and her coworkers are probably giving her grief. And yeah, um, yeah, I don't know if she's gonna come on and talk or yeah. She we we had a good time. It was fun. Yeah. Now she did come on. She said she is in love with you. Oh my oh. gosh! Don't listen to anything he says. <laughs> sure, she didn't tell sure. you. I, I don't and I've heard that. I've heard that a lot. <laughs> and again, here I am. <laughs> uh, no, we haven't heard from her. That's awesome, though. You're right. I mean, it's got to be friends first. It's just you know how guys are. Guys are like, you know, a lot of times we do jump the gun, and it does get us in trouble. And that's, right. Yeah. I yeah. think it's good to try something new, do something yeah. different. Yeah. Well, I, awesome. I agree. Yeah. Thanks well, for trusting yeah, me. Yeah, thank you for coming on and, and good of luck. Course. Hopefully this works out for you. I gotta did you get any other girls? Just be honest with us. I mean, how many girls reached out to you after you came on the show on Thursday? Several. <laughs> uh, just, you know, I mean it was it was basically I was a little late getting into work. Yeah. Uh, big big shout out to my employer there. Yeah. Um, but uh no, when I when I got in, my phone was blowing up. I think a lot of people they weren't sure where I was at. Because right. I don't really go out, you know, other than the DJ thing and yeah. If Jim and I are traveling, that's one thing. But other than that, I really don't get out. So right, people right. have no idea. You so it's just a good ultimate. good opportunity to get out there. And like I said, I made, if nothing else, I met another great friend. Out oh, of that's really sweet. That's well, great. we appreciate you being on the show, Bobby. Best of, of luck to you, man. All right, we'll see All you right, later, man. Always good, guys. Later. Yeah. Gary and Johanna. I got to know, Bobby, he don't have to tell us on here. I want you to maybe text him, though. Hey. Hey, what about the... Uh, I don't want to ask him. What? Yeah. I'll ask. Well, no, I know, but we're on the cam, so it's a it's a question that I want to ask on the cam. What, what would you not want to ask on the cam? Huh? What you kind of question? Make somebody else feel uncomfortable. Who? Him? No. Who would well, you can always, uncomfortable? Megan, you can always text me. I'll, t- I'll ask it. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I the girl know. that you said no to on the steel. Oh, yeah. Are, have you guys talked at all outside of, in addition to that? No? No. No. Yeah. No. That's yeah. what you were afraid to ask? Well, not for Bobby's sake. I don't care about Bobby. <laughs> but no, the, but don't the, worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> but the girl, I just, you know, if something were to happen, if they were talking, and then how is that going to make Mandy feel? I worry about those people's feelings in the situation. Right. But it doesn't matter. I mean, none of it matters anyway. You're single, right? So it doesn't matter yeah, who you talk no. to. He I'm just out the, here chilling. He pulled the gentleman move, though. When he asked her to ice cream, he said he gave her the choice. Would you like me to come pick you up or do you want to meet me there? It seems small, but trust me, like, that's not common anymore. What did she say? To me, that we met there, yeah. That's smart. It is. Smart. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't know you. And that's kind of what... I was anticipating that as an answer, but like I said, I just wanted yeah. to throw it out there. Yeah. It's it's good, too. It's good yeah. to have options. Have you reached yeah. out to her at all? Yeah, I've talked to her. Yeah, what did she say about it? Yeah, she said that she is really, really glad that they met, that he's an amazing human being, person, father, and she looks forward to getting to know him more. Oh, and good. she said, I'm really glad I put myself out there. Awesome. Scary, but I'm glad I did it. You guys both taking yeah. it slow. That's good. Yeah. All right, Bob. Nice seeing you, man. Take care of yourself. Bye, man. Bye. Okay. Great seeing you guys. See you later, All right. Buddy. I'll see you. Bye. See ya. That program sound is terrible. Oh, I know. <sighs> Someone you only met one time over Zoom is not your girlfriend. Oh, we so then, yeah, I'm sure he paid for everything. We yes, he he did. He, I know he paid. I was in love. I will say I fell in love with my husband after one Skype with him. One Skype. We were engaged before we even met in person. I think that's weird, but it <laughs> worked. Too. But it worked. You know what I mean. I so think how it's weird, weird too? How weird can you say it really is? I guess so. Yeah. No. And how and do you fall in love? Like, how do you know that you're in love with the person after one? I th- Skype? I always wondered that too, and I I had dated quite a bit before him after my divorce, and I I'm telling I like I it sounds so hallmarky, but I just knew 
And like I have not questioned it once since. Isn't that crazy? In almost that twelve years. Yeah. Kenny, I had nod. Do you believe that you can fall in love after one Skype? It's a tough one. He's thinking about his eyes are closed. Maybe right not there. even fall in love, but no, he's my person. I just knew. No, nah, okay. He's giving a hot nod, yes. I will when you say- change the answer to that, then that's a head nod, yes. But yeah. fall in love is tough for somebody to swallow. Like, that's tough. That's a tough one, you know? Yeah, we met uh, January 18th. And he was just deployed overseas, and he already had a Tiffany bracelet engraved with my new initials with Megan King and had that sent to me. He had that made literally days after we met, and it got to me by the time it was Valentine's Day. Would you be upset if you found out that he also dated before you a girl named Mary Killer? (laughs) And so he had this... No. He had this made for her. It came direct but, from factory. But Mary Killer broke up with him. Oh my god! So he gosh. has this, and then he gives it to you. <laughs> Would you be upset? Well, yeah, but it came directly from <laughs> Tiffany, so I believed it. Uh... Yeah, no, that's true, Christina. I used to chat with a guy back in MSN chat rooms. Oh, I forgot about MSN chat rooms. <laughs> I felt love for him and we had never met. Isn't that crazy? Oh, thanks, John. Thanks, Scott. Put a lot of trust in those feelings, especially after a divorce. That's true. But you know what? I think after a divorce, everybody should get some therapy, work their stuff out, you know? Yeah. I got some, I got some therapy. Yeah. Therapy's good. So good. When you know, you know. There's just some strange people out there too, like dating wise, like. Yeah, because you also have to be careful because, like, with narcissists. Yeah. They they like prey on making people fall in love with them, like pretending to be like this perfect. Yeah. It's a they love bomb you. Yeah. So you do have to be very careful. Yeah. Same with my husband and I. Fell in love before we met face to face. When you think about it, you get to know each other on a whole new level. We've been married almost 16 years. That's cool, Don. Yes, therapy is key. I think every person should have therapy. Scott, you sent your girlfriend to <gasps> Tiffany's hey, bracelet, Scott. too. Scott. I loved, I used to love those little blue boxes. Mm. <laughs> what's one of those run? What's a Tiffany's? What's a low end? Oh, a, a few hundred, mm-hmm. probably. Depends, like, if it's just, like, silver, mm-hmm. you know, like a sterling silver. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you have a cheater story, 474 oh, yeah. frogging text the show. Let's see if we got anything new. Morning, Willie. What's up, my man? Hey. Blue box, white ribbon. You know it. Oh. Well, who is this name? Where did it go? Jalinda. What did Jalinda say? Engaged after four months, two of which we lived in different states. When you know, you know. All I'm saying is that no one is together after a five-minute date. Yes, that's for sure. A narcissist sucked me in. That's how you got here, Georgia? Biggest mistake, but also lean, learned from it. He hurt me bad. That sucks. Wow, a cheater, liar, alcoholic. Had another one of his buddies stash. Slash slash my, tires? my tires. What the? Megan, your husband set the bar high from week one. Poor guy never had a chance to go cheaper from then on out. He did. He did that to himself, I would say. <laughs> That's why you never, <clears throat> guys know this rule, you never take a girl to a, the nicest restaurant, like on a first date. Oh, yeah. Cause never. Then, Where you go from there. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. Never. You build up to it. Yes. Special occasions. Yeah. You up the, the ante. Yeah. Never do that. We won't get into how it ended. Jeez. 
Dang, April, it's crazy. 24 years. How long have you and your wife been together? Who? You. Since college, but then we were divorced for a little bit. Well, still, about how many years together? 30. 30 years. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I think your story is so cool. You got to take away a couple years, though, like two. I don't know how long we were divorced, but. Yeah. I think that's a very cool story, though. Yeah, I met when I was 19, 19, she was 18. Did it make you, this is probably goes without saying, but did it make you appreciate her more when you got back together? Do you think you love her oh, more? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I was not yeah. a good husband to begin with. I wasn't terrible, but I was just about the kids more than I was her. That's great. You got another chance. Yeah. Luckily, thank thank you guys. There was nobody here that was good enough. <laughs> she dated. <laughs> she dated. I dated. Ooh. It was rough out there, man. Was it I'll just here? What. Did she stay here in Nebraska? Yeah. Did you ever run into each other on a date? No. Or anything? That would have I was been always terrible. worried about that. I that was always worried terrible. about it. She was worried about it, too. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been really bad. I agree, Gary. Plus, if you don't like her, then you're out a bigger amount of cash. But I've done it. We've all done it, Slovenia. That my wife's in on song, my person. My person, that's your song. You never take them to Gary's favorite place where he has his own table and orders the flight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's, that's a whole material. That flight was good, though. Have you been there? Casa what? Bovina? No. You. I don't think I have. Tiffany Girl oh, wait, ain't been there. Is that there. north? Yeah. Yeah. I the think fancy, I know fancy. Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Not fancy, fancy, but it's like super expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. We had the flight, and then Ooh, they yeah. had the, the I love wine the that matches with it, mm-hmm. and I was so drunk. <laughs> like, <laughs> I couldn't, I didn't even know it till I had to get up and go to the bathroom, and oh I, my I couldn't hardly walk straight, yeah. And I wasn't even drinking all the wine. Like, they just give you little tasters with that's, every- That's what I did at a wine tasting yeah. event with my mom years ago when I drank. Powerful. But we didn't realize the buckets, everybody was spitting out all this wine. Yeah. Because it went for hours. Yeah. My mom and I were so loaded. Yeah. We could not get home. Yeah. We had to like wait it out it a was long so bad. time. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. Hey, Lori. Hi. Good morning. How are Good morning. you? Good morning. Good. Good to see you. I'm exhausted. Me too. Were you? Oh, oh fun. No. fun, fun, fun. <clears throat> <clears throat> It's Lincoln Fancy. The Tracy's Collision Cam is live. Search Frog Mornings on YouTube. Cheater Stories this morning. If you have one, 474 Frog. Text the show. If we read it on the air, you could win tickets to a concert coming up. Do we have any new ones, Megan? I know that we have somebody who's going to be joining the show in a few minutes. We have the Facebook screenshot of the text. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have that one as well. Yeah. You want me to share? Yeah. So Casey sent this to us. Now, her bio, her daughter's bio dad, not her ex-husband, she wants to make very clear they've been on here before. Uh, She had found a message, and this is like a classic renaming of the contact in your phone it yeah. was ashley which is not her he ended up finding she ended up finding out that the girl's name was ashley but ashley, in the but phone it, what it, was it, it saved as just a a lot of guys will use a guy like a dude's name you know or something just random no i've always heard off. of guys like using like yes that or if they put like wrong number or now what is it uh Wrong number. Yeah. Like save it as wrong number. Yes. Or so if they call, not wrong number. Oh, What's the other one? Unknown like number. Unknown number. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Oh, so when that's they're calling, crazy. it just comes up unknown number. Oh, no, 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 not no. When you you get know a text. who it is. Yeah. That's <laughs> so my side girl. Yeah. She found it and the girl A, Ashley, said, Why do you even like me? And Mind you, she is. Why 30, did she ask that? She's thirty-nine weeks pregnant at this point, and he said, "I." The girl who's getting cheated times. on, right? Yeah, the yeah, wife. Right. One more time doesn't hurt. She's and he goes. She's begging for it. Yeah, she's begging. She's, Tell she's me why. Fishing. He said, "You make me happy. I can look at you and smile for no reason. When you hold my hand, it feels right. When you kiss me, I get butterflies. When we cuddled, it was amazing. 
When I was with you, it just seemed right. Imagine being 30, how many weeks pregnant? She was one week from delivering her baby. And you? Their baby. How did she find that? Just in his phone. She was going through his phone. Screenshot it. Emailed it to herself. She still had this gem from all those years ago. It's just not smart. I think A, maybe, not that cheating is smart at all, but the unknown number. Maybe you should have gone with that. I'm just saying. A, (laughs) what kind of creativity is that? You put A, A, and her name is Ashley? What an idiot. Anyway. Yeah, stupid already to cheat, so Uh, it doesn't surprise me. We have, in a few minutes, uh, the lady that is going to be joining the show. I'm really curious about this story because it has something to do with Craigslist. Right. And my apologies as you're taking your kids to school this morning. But this is, you know, cheater stories. This is what we do on Mondays. Uh, hookers is what she... <laughs> something, Craigslist and hookers. It that's does all we, seem old school to yes, say hookers. I cannot wait to meet this person <laughs> who's going to tell us about... Is that her husband? It was someone she was dating. Okay. All right. And how he was caught cheating. We'll have that story for you via the Tracy's Collision Cam when we come back. Gary and we need to revisit. What? Jane said, "I did a co- I did coffee on my first date. He told me about escaping from the psychiatric hospital, Brian West, and then asked me to come to his house. That was oh like God. for their first coffee date." That's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can send the link. Dan proposed after four months. He called me from boot camp to ask. We've been married for 37 years. Check your text messages. Why is it not loading? We're so cursed. I always, I always tell the story when I was, <laughs> I grew up in um, a little town about an hour outside of Kansas City, and whenever we would drive to Kansas City, we would, I never forget, like, and maybe it's the same if you live in a small town now, but like you could see the city lights as yeah. you're driving, you're like, oh my God, we're in, we'd call it the city, are you going to the city? Pretty country. Yeah. But the thing that I look forward to the most was looking for the call girls. <laughs> Because you would see the street walkers, you know what I mean? Like, you never saw you that. Look forward to yeah, it. Yeah, because you would see, they would talk about it on TV and in the Did movies and stuff. Them? No, you would always just wonder if that was one. Oh, yeah. And I didn't know. Like That's so funny. I did have a weird fascination with them because of Pretty Woman. Yeah. I thought Julia Roberts was just, like, the most amazing thing on in the world. Yeah. So, yeah, I wanted to dress up with like her for Halloween like when I was girl. little. My parents wouldn't let me. <laughs> no. With like, like knee-high boots. and the... Yeah. Hmm. I got engaged to my ex-husband when I was at AAT. Anybody watch the Wheel of Fortune anymore? Oh, we got another cheater story. You what? Is it any good? I never did watch the Wheel of Fortune. What I always thought was fascinating about that, Pat Sajak is retiring. Do you know who Pat Sajak is? Yeah, You're of course. Me, yeah. Um, but oh, what's the old girl that does the letters? Vanna White. Yeah. What an incredible life. Oh yeah, Vanna all she's had done it is turn the letters. That's turn all she's done her entire life. Absolutely beautiful. Never had to say a word. No. That's unbelievable. Sometimes she'd say, "That's right, Pat." Yeah. How do you stumble into something like that? Look like she looked, evidently. Look, yeah, exactly. Um, the story is, is decent. It's a nice little paragraph it's about a pool pool job. A pool job? This yeah. is a pool boy? They okay. worked at a pool together. Okay, don't tell me any more yet. Then. Okay. Yeah, I did once. Did she get the link? That's funny because when I was little, the city I lived in, my dad used to give me pennies when I was on the back of the motorcycle to throw with the hookers. Oh my God, that's terrible. That's terrible, Rhonda. (laughs) (laughs) I've never heard of that. Oh my God. 
that's funny, Ashley. Oh, we all wanted to be a, a, either Vanna or one of the, what's it called, girls? Uh, what's that? Price is Right. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I loved I loved those girls. I loved their dresses. And to think that Bob so was getting much. up with all them girls. I know. Yeah. Incredible. He was the Hugh Hefner yeah. of his, you know, yeah. era, his yeah. position. Oh, and the deal or no deal girls with the briefcases. I thought that well, one Meghan Markle fun. was one of those. She was? She was deal or no deal girl. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh Google it. You can see a picture of her. I'm going to. Yeah, because one, there's a meme going around of her opening a briefcase, and it says zero, and it says the amount of money the queen has left you. Oh. <laughs> There she is. Yeah. That's crazy. I knew. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. Yep. Didn't realize it was bad till I got older. Is that right, Dougie Fresh? I didn't know that either. Is she not seeing it? See. Well, we may. Oh, have... she said perfect. Just got it. Okay. A South Dakota guy. Man, it be me a little no, 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 no. That Penny thing shouldn't make me laugh that hard, but it's... Don't Penny's a hooker said it right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you yeah. see the TikTok of the little boy who calls his back pockets his buttholes? <laughs> <clears throat> what? I could be happy anyway. Listen to your favorite morning show on the Tracy's Collision Cam. Every morning. Just head over to Facebook. Facebook.com slash Froggy981. You can also catch the show at Froggy981.com. Uh, cheater stories this morning. Every Monday we do it. If you have one, you can share it with the show. 474 Frog. This one I don't know much about other than it involves Craigslist and hookers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The other thing of note from the story that grabbed my attention from yeah. the get-go was her ex's job. What it's an unusual it? position to have. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What was it? He's an alligator wrestler. And he would travel, like, city to city wrestling alligators? Yeah. So would he, like, bring the alligator with him and they would wrestle? Like, That's a, a good little... question. I'd assume it'd be the, have to be the same alligators. No, it's not, like, a harmful right. alligator. Uh-uh. He'd go to fairs and stuff like that. Um, Meet we, a lot of people that way. Are we getting her on the show right now? No, we're not. We're having problems, Kenny. Kenny's not and said, yes, we're having problems this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, let's do this. Why don't Megan, do you have the story in front of yeah, you? Yeah, I do. Go ahead and start reading the story, and then if she happens to join, then we can have her. Okay, so she said, it. my ex traveled to state fairs it was events state fairs, yeah. for res- wrestling alligators for educational shows for months at a time. Educational shows. What is the education about wrestling an alligator? I have no idea. I don't know when anyone would need to know that, but a week after I had flown up to visit, I got a really weird text from him late at night. I got a bad gut feeling about this. Long story sh- short, I found out he had contacted and met up with a hooker from Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> found the ad and everything. So she somehow dug deep, found this ad. No idea if this was his first time or not, but he had a history of being up late and drinking while going out on the road, so the odds are probably not on my side. Needless to say, that was the end of the relationship. Years later, he tried to reach out again and reconnect. I guess his dating life didn't improve much. Do people still go on Craigslist for stuff like that? What what else do you go on Craigslist for? To, do people go like vice? I don't know anymore. Huh? I thought it was like a dying site. Craigslist? Yeah. Yeah. How long ago was this? Did she say? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's all that's going on is hookers and misconnections. I, I guess I'm a little confused by it though. Did she say that? Did he like rat himself out? The yeah, he it, sent her some weird text that gave her a bad gut feeling. Uh huh. So she did some digging. And that is where she found, found a out hooker. that he got a hooker. Can we oh, say hooker? Man. We're saying it a lot. And uh, what are you supposed to say? <laughs> I don't know. A uh, uh, lady of 
<laughs> you were not going to say. Night. I was going to say lady, lady of the, of the night. night. I was going to say lady of the night. I have no idea, but my main question for her out of all of this, I'm very sad this happened to her, but yeah. how is wrestling alligators an educational experience? I have no idea. There's lots of unans- unanswered Can't questions. Can't you like rub their bellies and they get excited or not excited? <laughs> He did that with a hooker. <laughs> he rubbed her belly. I think he's rubbing her belly. Guess where? Where? Guess where? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> we could ask her about some of the alligator issues. Our you can bring her on. We're not going to bring her back on the air, but you can bring her on the cam if you want. I don't care yeah. if she's already in there. Yeah. I would like to to ask her educational videos. What's her name? Lauren. Lauren. Oh. Lauren, with her? Lauren. Hi, good morning. Hi, hey. how are you? I'm good, thanks. Can I ask you, are, are you the person that I'm looking, the picture that is up, is that you with the red hair? Yeah, it is. I'm just not presentable yet this morning. That's so. no problem. Okay. I, you know what? In my head, when I heard the story, you did I did not, not picture. picture red hair. I did not picture oh. somebody young. Oh. oh, is it because of the Craigslist thing, or? I think it's a Craigslist thing, and he dated a guy that wrestled alligators. To me, that seems like an old school profession. <laughs> Yeah, I, it's a, a family business. That's how we got into it. Really? Seriously. And what was the educational part of it? We're curious about that. That makes sense. Um. They would just like they travel the country and they go to like state fairs and things like that. And they're they just basically wrestle alligators and like do a little, you know, 15, 20 minute show about like, oh, like this is how an alligator does this and that. And like, don't try this at home. And right. I don't know. Did he so ever get... just like an excuse for them to wrestle alligators? I think. Did he ever get crazy. bit? Um, yes, I've been bit even. And you... his, his uncle's You're... been bit. And yeah, it's just You're in the they business. say you. When you're in that industry, it's not if you get bit, it's when. So you're you're Dang. you're a re- uh, an alligator wrestler too? No, I just fed I fed some of the babies once while they were out of town, and one of them just jumped up and latched on. <laughs> oh my god! I should not laugh. That's terrible. That's crazy. That's hor- how long ago was all of this that this happened? Oh gosh, um, would have been probably like. Six to seven years ago. And how did you find out and, and find the ad and find out that he did that even? Um, so I he sent me a text and it was uh I forget exactly what the verbiage was, but it was just something where I was like, like what in the world? And he was on my phone plans. Uh... <laughs> so I I went a little crazy and like just pulled up the information and like the, literally the number that he was uh texting was like I Googled it and it pulled up the ad for a hooker. Oh <laughs> a my list. God. That's crazy. Well, so in, in one of the small towns, I imagine it being a small town, I don't know why, that he was in, uh, like was he out I, working? Yeah, I don't remember what state he was in, but I want to say yeah. it was in, It was. I think it was in the Sun Belt Midwest area. Oh, Did yeah. you call her? No. Oh my God, that would be horrible. But <laughs> I, I, I had seen everything I needed to see. I mean, there were like texts back and forth with them and, and it was, this is like probably three in the morning. So there's nothing good going on. Oh, of course not. But, and then the last interaction was like a phone call, um, from her, presumably, uh, to him. That was like a few seconds. And you know, in what world is that anything other than like, hey, I'm here. I'm outside. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Dang, that's and, nuts. And when you said, when you told him, what did he say? Did he deny it? Um, No, he tried to say that like his friend told him to do it. <laughs> that makes what? it better. It was a dare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, it's like, what do you mean? It, not that it mattered, but... <laughs> Oh my gosh. And well, that, that, good riddance to him. How long were you guys together, Lauren? Oh, not even a year. It wasn't really? it wasn't very long, but yeah. uh I mean it was really like the guy and it was a fun relationship, but that was that was about all it was ever going to be probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, just wow. it wasn't ever going to grow up. Right. Was he in the alligator business or was it your family? 
No, he was. He was. So you got out, you got out of that. That's like unicyclers. They're the, when it's a family business, they are they're committed to mm-hmm. it. Did they have the yeah. business here? Like, was the alligator business based out of Nebraska? No, they're in Florida, but um, they bring the gators with them all over the country, and they go in the truck and. Gotcha. But their their actual farm and home base is I in got Florida. You. I got, got you. it. Are you still single? No, <laughs> I'm not. Well, that's too bad. We can, thought mm-hmm. maybe we'd get you on the show. <laughs> I I had a hunch that was where this was going to go. <laughs> Well, listen, we're sorry that it happened to you, but are you married now or were you just dating somebody? Uh, just dating someone. Oh, well. Very, very happily dating. Good, good. Uh, were, well, I'm not trying to get you out. How not trying serious to sway you. is it? <laughs> well, best of luck to you, Lauren. Thanks for sharing the story, Thanks, too. And Lauren. I think we're going to hook you up with some tickets, too, for telling yeah. it. Yeah. So. Thank you. Megan Appreciate it. That'd be get awesome. get you all set up with that. All right. Thank you. I'll message you. Thanks, yep. Lauren. Okay. Have a good rest of your day. You, right, too. you too. Bye. 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 Someone who was in a unicycler family, and they had no choice. Like, their parents, even in high school, they forced them to, like, practice all the time. And they went out to – they signed them up for, like, fairs and events, and they had to unicycle whether they wanted to or not. At some point, though, you make your own decisions. Well, yeah. But you're telling me you're unicycling until you're 18. Yeah. And then you you can decide whether or not you want to unicycle anymore. Yes. But what a great – <clears throat> trick to learn it's a good party trick yeah at least if you break free <laughs> well you'd have to you have to bring your own you know you can cycle i'm sure their their coordination is fantastic oh, has to be yeah what a great life skill yeah i suppose i would never <laughs> force them to do that but oh oh my god we'll see you ashley take care Bye, have a great ashley. day It is just cold today. We could save that next story for that other story for next week. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Oh, man. Do we have any IDOIQ people for tomorrow? No. Nope. Okay. Do we have tickets for that? Or? So we have Billy Curtin all week. So. Okay. Anybody want to do it? I do IQ tomorrow. I have someone I could ask, but. I wonder what. Um, hmm. That party bus is going to be fun on Thursday. Is there anybody on here going on the party bus that won tickets? Is there a part of you that wishes you were going? Um, uh, it's hard. It's a hard thing to answer because not in my present state. Just because, right? I have to work the next day. Well, what if this was on a Friday, for or a Saturday? If I had nothing to do the next day, yes, you would look forward to it. Right. Even look forward to it. Mm-hmm. We've talked about this before. To me, it's work. Like oh, it's yeah. not even an enjoyable. It's not even an, an enjoyable thing. The only thing, no, I loved. I love being around the the listeners and all of that stuff, but I don't get excited about concerts anymore. I wouldn't want the bus situation. That's the part I I would love to hang out at the concert. Yeah. But I don't think I would enjoy being stuck on the bus and not having control over when I get back. Yeah. Even if you had nothing to do the next day. I don't care. I still want to. If I want to dip out, I want to dip out. I'm I'm someone that likes to know I can dip out. I would say if I were like 25. Yeah, yeah, that would change things. Yeah. I used to do like go to the duck races. Yeah. And what is it? That. Starts with an A. Evo- Evoca or something? And I took the buses out there. I had a blast. Yeah. But I was also, yeah, in my young 20s. Yeah. So, yeah, that would probably. 20s are things. different. 20s are different. Mm hmm. Does Peloton offer a unicycle? <sighs> Asking for a friend. Get out of wow. here, Kenny. Dang. That's amazing. Same with you, Jackie. See, I want to be more fun. Do you know what I did when I did go somewhere this weekend? Well, when I dropped Perry off? You took a nap. No, I stayed over, or not stayed over, that sounds bad. I did not spend the night. Mike and I 
hung out at Bob's when we took Perry over there. And we, you know what we did? No. We, nobody talked. We didn't, we sat there and we watched that new Minion movie. And the kids weren't With even in Bob, the room. Bob, who we just had on yeah. Bob. Cactus Hill Bob. Yeah, we sat and watched that Minion movie. No kids were in there. It was his friend. And then Mike, that means myself, you guys are like real friends, though. Yeah, like that's not something you do with like a just. No, no, no. We're we're real friends. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's what I did this weekend. Besides work on my house, you. you I'm yeah. not very exciting, but I. Oh man, I used to be fun. <laughs> I want to be fun again. I don't think you're going to be. You don't think so? Mm-mm. I think I could I could rally and no. pull it out. <laughs> I think when it's over, it's over. I, I refuse to believe that it's over. The only way, and I, I don't want this ever to happen to you, the only way you would be fun again is if you got divorced, I think. Oh, yeah. That's you can a have good fun point. With the, no, you, that's a good you point. You can have fun within your relationship with your husband. You guys can go in and have a good time. Yeah. But you're and still he lets gonna, me have fun. Yeah. He lets you have fun. Let, I know it sounds bad, but I like, hate, I hate right he's now. not a, I don't know. He's just not, I, if I'm going to sound old, I was going to say a funny daddy. <laughs> that's old. <laughs> He is not a buddy, daddy. He's no. Fun. He looks like he's out to have a good time. He's out to have a good time. I would think and that he, he would have get a... jealous either. Good. Yeah, that's good. So it's a good combo. Yeah. So I like to dance. I like to dance. I was a dancer for fifteen years. Are you good at it? Yeah, I'm good. Like what dancer? kind? Hip hop dance or country? Dance I was a ballet dancer, dance? but I know how to do all the dances. Are your toes jacked up? Yeah, a little bit. Are they? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, from those point shoes, it was not, not good. Can you do? You can do all of that stuff. Yeah. Still? Mm-hmm. Do you have ballet shoes? Yes, I do. Hmm. Yeah. I don't actively like take classes anymore, but yeah. I remember a lot. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it was like my life. That's all I did. I danced for. I was in dance hours and hours and hours every week. Really. Mm-hmm. Did you want to go to dance school? Mm, I did. I wanted to go to Juilliard like everybody else right. did, but. Right. Not so easy, is it? No. No. God, no. And I got pregnant right out of high school. You did. Change things. Yep. Yep. I'm a senior. <laughs> yeah, it'll change your life quickly. Yep. It's worth it. It was worth it, though. I don't know that I could have hacked it anyway. I mean, I was good, but I was not Juilliard good. Yeah. I, I can be real with myself. Yeah. Oh, someone can't go. Oh, I can't go to the concert now. Who? Megan. I broke my foot over the weekend. I wasn't even drinking when I did it. That's terrible. I know. How about that, Eric? Uh, so she's not... Was she on the party bus? I don't know. Who? What's her name? Megan? Megan. Sorry, Megan, uh, are you on the party bus? Something. Are you supposed to be going with us? That's terrible. My son broke his foot in gym class. He was so embarrassed. Who? My son last year. Really? He they were playing basketball in gym. Mm-hmm. He came down and he he said it was the one time he cried at school. And he he said they still don't let me live it down. Did I'm he cry? He he cried. Yeah. He cried because it hurt or because he was embarrassed or Oh, cuz it hurt so bad. He said it was like the worst pain. He broke it in like four places. Oh, yeah. It was painful. There ain't nothing man, there is nothing wrong with crying. No, there's not. Especially when you're breaking all your bones. Kenny, do you cry still? Yeah, just nod yes or no. You don't have to say anything to the microphone. He does not cry anymore. What? Oh, he, hang on. You hang can't? On. Tear ducts. Is it a tear duct issue? I don't, I don't know if it's just like <laughs> too many years of... I don't know. You can't force any tears like, out, even if you try? Is it like a shutdown thing? Like you just, you're you're too tired to cry? Yeah. I think that's it. Too yeah. tired to cry. That's a thing. I suppose you can I could cry if I needed to, but I haven't <laughs> luckily had that. Like um, it would take something big, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any animals? No. Well, no. like Sean has a dog, but I don't. Would you wouldn't cry, cry if that no. dog died. No, I don't think so. Sorry, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm how? trying to think. I don't want to get morbid, so I don't want anybody. You don't close seem to like a crier pie. either. Me. Yeah. Oh my God! Give you me are? a give me a, a athletic commercial oh, you, about a kid overcome. I will cry. Yes, I, I cry, cry all the time. With commercials. commercials, same. Yeah, I cry all the time. Same. I have no problem with it. I cry a lot. Yeah, I cry when I'm ha- I cry for anything, but commercials will get me. 
There's some credit card commercials. Oh, I bet. Purses. And... <clears throat> yeah. Kenny, when you were a kid, did you ever cry like when your body was changing? Like just for what? no reason? Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. hormones. I would, hormones. I got pretty emotional, I think. As a I did, kid. too. I remember looking. I remember looking in the mirror crying. Because and saying mean, to myself, I, I don't know why I'm crying. Aww. And just tears for Aww. no reason other than my hormones are going crazy. It is. it is That surge is just yeah. changing for sure. Yeah. Aw, that's sweet. I cry for both of us, he said. <laughs> He's a crier. Who? Does that seem right, Kenny? Sean? Sean said, I cry for both of us. Sean ain't crying. <laughs> hey, he could be. No way. I saw that man in, in here. With his emotions. I don't know. I cry when I see my electricity bills. Right? <laughs> Sean, <laughs> Kyle's wedding video and he'll cry. <laughs> Why? Because it's a old, it's old material. Know. Because Johanna got mad at me because uh, there was a part in Kyle's video where oh yeah, I remember his father-in-law with his old shaky hands Hand. had it on right. the back of his wife's shoulder, and Johanna's was more like romantic <laughs> comedy, and she hates it that I say that. She wants hers to be touching, like hers was kind of more like the Notebook. There was funny, and then there yeah. was you know, Sweet. And... and Kyle's was just more sad. <laughs> she wanted me to cry why would she want me to cry during her video it was just the oh she was so mad at it me. actually mad yes yeah oh my god <laughs> yeah she does not hide that yeah she was uh, upset with me because i didn't cry during her video carrie cried when he had to kiss his sister i was upset when i had to <laughs> was forced to kiss my sister was it actually on the lips yes and every other forced. sunday Yes, every other Sunday. Yeah, <laughs> it was more than once? Yeah. Oh yeah, every other Sunday. Do you ever see I would now? have to go with her. I would have to go I would have to go with my mom and my stepdad and my stepsister drive her 30 minutes to her house. It was just me in the back seat with her. <laughs> and my brothers didn't have to go. Was yeah. she like older? Older, older? No. She was younger. I was the older man. I was probably like Ten. Was she okay to do it? And she's she wanted it, and that's why. Oh. That's why they made me do it. Her dad made me do it. <laughs> do you ever talk now? Not very much. No. The thing's awkward. Not uh, because of the kissing. It's just we don't. We weren't really ever close. <laughs> Every other Sunday up until last week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. No, we're not close. Oh, I haven't been made to kiss anybody before. I don't it's know not how the I'd best feel feeling, no. especially your sister. But there was no blood, guys. There was no blood. Right. Like, we were not, not even a half sister no. situation. Okay. No. Uh. Uh-uh. She. Gosh, she wanted it. But my cousin <laughs> did oh. <laughs> try to get me in a swimming pool when she was naked. What? Oh, yes. How old was in she? In a trailer park in Missouri. She had body changes already. We. You hadn't. can't make that up in That's a trailer real. park in Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the trailer parks have their own swimming pools, and she's in there. Just like a, just. Oh my gosh! You were a hot commodity in the fan. No, no, <laughs> she was desperate. This girl was not did not have any guys coming her oh, way. So she my, wanted me and my brother had no body sh- changes to get in that naked, get in that pool. But she didn't want us to take our clothes off. But she was naked, sure, sure as could be. Oh my god! You could see through the water. Ugh. Oh my gosh! You have that ingrained in yes. your brain now from yeah. trauma. Yeah. That's trauma. Yes, yeah, trauma. <laughs> you ever talk to anybody about that? Just on the radio. Oh, that they're your therapists. Yeah. I don't even tell my wife that stuff. She already knows I came from just white trash. She, background. Maybe she doesn't want to know. No, she doesn't want to know. <laughs> what do you think she'd say? Just look at you different? She just I don't know what she would do. Oh my gosh. I just try to forget it, but you can't. I know. See, I just didn't. I wasn't around many people. I had my two cousins, and that was it. No, you were getting Tiffany bracelets and going down to the plaza. Oh, my gosh. The Tracy's Collision Cam is live. Facebook.com slash Froggy981.
Johanna is still on maternity leave, and uh, this is week number four, I think. Yeah. Wednesday will be four weeks. I can't believe it's been a month almost. She, yeah, the baby's doing great. I saw the, I saw a little Iggy on, was that Friday, I think? And uh, he is blind. He's blonde. I didn't know that he was blonde. Like he's, he's already. Blondish. She's blonde, yeah. Well, she was platinum one time. She don't let me bring that up. Yeah, when she dyed her hair like white almost. Oh, shoot. Everybody had a phase like yeah, that, Yeah, this one I think. I you go back, too. If you're friends with her, like, on Facebook, you can go back and look at some of the old photos when she was in high school. And she was, yeah, she was platinum. She went platinum. I think we've all been there. <clears throat> but little Iggy, is <laughs> he's uh, he's doing great. Mom is doing great. He's still big as anything, growing like yeah. a weed. I yeah. think that she had planned on going to the uh, to the game over the weekend. Oh, really? Yeah. So they were. She was going to bring the baby down there to uh, tailgate, and but this is you know when you're when you're breastfeeding, this is what you have to do. It's like every hour she's feeding this baby, and she can't do any bottle stuff yet. Right. So she was going to have to breastfeed at the tailgate? at the tailgate, going to the commitment. yeah going to the game, and then and then come back and breastfeed some more. But she didn't do it. I don't know. I haven't talked to her. She, so she could have pulled it out. She was supposed to. Yeah, because she's literally. getting she's getting stir crazy. <laughs> she's sitting in that house all day. She's used. You said she's used to just like going, 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 right? Like always out doing something. Yes. So this is probably really hard. Yeah. Yeah. So she's just taking Iggy she's with She's not her. leaving. When I was on the phone with her, and I think she's starting to lose her marbles a little bit <laughs> because her kid, Frankie, got his head stuck. And the uh, the railing, you know, like the like when you're going down the stairs and yeah, they've got the uh, the, the stairwell. Yeah. So the, you know what are they called? The little pickets that go up and down. Oh, he stuck his head through that. Yeah. And got stuck. And so At she's on house? the yeah. She's <laughs> on the phone with me, breastfeeding her son, and then her other son gets her his head stuck in the stair deals. You got to pull the butter out at that point. She's just kind of laughing. <laughs> That's why I think she's losing it. She's like, it's just go up. You can get out. Just go. I'm like, oh, my God. This girl has got to come back to work. Well, did you see how it all spindles. ended? Yeah, the spindles. That's spindles. right, Tammy. Yeah. Did I Did I what? Did you get to see what happened? No. Did he get out? Is he I don't still know. Legend I think he got out. Still there? She stopped laughing, so I think he got out. I'm not really sure. So she, yeah, she's, people wanting to know whether or not she's coming back. And she's supposed to. Yeah, I think that she, I oh, actually think she back. misses it. She was embarrassed to tell me. She watched the show on uh, Friday. Yeah. Not live. And uh, because she was telling me about Corey or something. I don't know. She had a comment about Corey, the new guy. Oh, yeah. And I said, well, how did you know? Were you watching? And she kind of hesitated for a minute. Because I said, I didn't see your, I didn't see your name pop up on the cam. Oh, Usually she didn't want to say she watched back. She didn't want to tell me that she went back and watched the show. Yeah. Oh, I think it's sweet. I do, too. I do, too. What At least she still wants to come back. That would be the worst if she didn't want to. No offense or anything, but. No, she'll be you know. happy to come back. Yeah. What she think of Corey? I'm curious. She liked him. Yeah. Yeah, she likes She thinks he's funny. That's true. Yeah, he's a good guy. Now, I have an update on these snails, by the way. They were they were traumatized when they came home. They weren't sucking on anything for oh, a good day. The, uh, yeah, I think the it was from getting fondled Friday. so much. Yeah, you were like, we got to talk about that, too. <laughs> Our, you and I have got to be on the same page. When we did What's in the Box on Friday, and I'm trying to tell these people, you may get bit. Right. And then you, the, like the nicest woman in the world, well, you know, they're not going to fight you. I'm like... <laughs> Yes, they may. They we don't know whether or not they're, they're gonna not bite. Gonna draw blood. Hold them gentle. Hold them gentle. Like, what are you saying? I didn't want the snails to get I traumatized. I know that's what I'm trying. I know what happened. I know you're too nice. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Telling people they're gonna get bit. You're saying no. You're, they're not going to I bite you. I was looking you. out for the snails more than the people. This wasn't about the people. We got to do something again on Friday. Every Friday we do what's in the box. So I know. we got to start thinking about uh, about something else. Uh, when we come back in a minute, this is exciting, something we added to. We just announced it today. It's our KFC giveaway, and it has nothing to do with chicken. Our boss was worried that we're going to have, like, a cease and desist, like that we're going to get sued for using the KFC. Nothing to do with chicken, <laughs> but it's something you're really going to like. We'll give you the details when we come back. Wait, 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 wait. What is it? Oh, my God, that's awful. 
That's a, is that what you're talking about? The sound? Sal, Gary, Johanna, come back show. I miss, yes. <laughs> My cousin did that. It was horrible trying to get him out. Oh, the spindles, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had to butter my kids' heads before. They both had their heads stuck in our railings. And you buttered their heads. Yeah, it works. But don't you know that if there's a way to get in, there's a way to get out. Don't you ever just think about that, as, like, logically? It's I a mean, combination. Yeah, it's no, like a combination that, lock. It makes sense, but... We tried everything, and you didn't. The tenseness. You did not try everything. There's no way. <laughs> How long? I understand the tenseness. I get it. In that moment, they're freaking so out. You're their freaking tricks out. Like butter. It's yeah. like getting a ring on, and you can't get it back off. You got the ring on. You should be able to get that's it off. Point. But that's not true. That's a good point. I think the stress causes swelling. That's a good point. It could. No, those snails though, they weren't sucking on anything for a day. I thought they were dead. Yeah. From getting tossed about. And no, but they're sucking now. They're in their fit new homes. What they're, are you in, oh, they're in the. They're yeah. each in their respective fish tanks. Yeah. I was worried about them. I care about things like. Well, what's like his that. name? I really thought he wanted to eat one of them. Uh, oh, Ke uh, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. yeah. He did. He went back in after yeah, the game did. was done. My cousin ended up pulling himself back out of it and got horrible bruises. So maybe the butter's just to help assist. To not have the resistance. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, did you see Amar's new trick with his cat? No, I didn't watch it. He taught his cat to, to come to him when he pats his chest to hop Does it up, really work? To pounce up. Yeah, it did it. I was I was impressed. I'm you working in the stand today, Christine? Which one? I still want to stop by. Christine, I got to be honest with you about something. I had a... I've been in the cantaloupe lately, and I got a bad cantaloupe. Oh, what happens? What happens if you get a bad? I just threw it out. Yeah, you don't say anything, right? Mm -mm. It tasted like it. It tasted. If this makes any sense, I got two of them. One of them was great, just like the last time. Mm. This one, like it just, it felt a little hard on the inside, which made no sense because it was ripe, it was oh. ready to eat, but it tasted almost like it was like pesticide. -y. Pesticide. Yeah, if I had to describe it. Which is weird because it's a hard right. shell. So you would I'm not think saying that, that that's what it was. Yeah. I'd have no idea what the flavor just was, off. but it just tastes it did not taste right. So yeah. And that's interesting that the other one tasted fine because don't they all come from the same place? I don't know. I think so. Miss Becky, the they went out for ice cream and they're still talking. Just taking it slow. Yeah, it's late in the season. They're hit or miss now. Bring it back and they'll replace. Oh, that's okay. It was is no that, big deal. Is, do, you, do you get talked about, though, if you bring something back? I don't know. I don't think I It looks wanna... like, except for Christina, most of them people are old. And oh. it looks like them old people probably would take something back if it wasn't right. Right. I don't think I'd bring something back. I have. I brought back steak before. It smelled rotten. Oh, yeah, the stinky steak. That was so disappointing. That would be. Were you, I, felt I would like, be I nervous felt, to eat the other steak. I felt like they thought I was lying too. That was the worst part about it. Didn't they smell it in front of you, or kind did they of, not, not smell really. it? Not really. They kind of just took my. Um, kind not of took my word legit. for it, but. So you could take it back. Oh, you threw it away already. Yeah, I just threw, it's four dollars. I just threw it out. My son got his arm stuck in a pool table. What? Oh, we used to do that all the time. What do you mean? You stick Where your hand you in the pool table because the balls get stuck down there sometimes. So you stick it down to try oh, to undo it. Yeah. My God, that'd be terrifying. Yeah. Oh, you sent me pics. Where the ball comes out? That's crazy. Yeah, we used to always do. I haven't played pool in forever. I'm actually really good at it. Right. Very. Mm hmm I used to be really good. We had a pool table growing up and my and I lived under a bar. My mom and dad got divorced in Missouri. What you lived under a bar? Yeah. My grandma owned a bar. Oh. It had like an apartment underneath of it? Yeah. It's oh. trashy. It's not nice. Okay. 
Like it was really trashy. <laughs> the name of the bar was Elmer's Inn. And it was, I didn't know this until later, but it was like the bar, Warsaw, Missouri is like, not good. It's like hillbillies and stuff. How long did you live there? A couple of years, maybe. Year, Were you year under the bar. Can I ask you something? And I don't mean this you can like ask demeaning. anything, yeah. Were you embarrassed to have like friends over and stuff? I didn't have friends over, but nobody in that town had money, so. It wasn't anything. Everybody was poor. Well, yeah. That's good. But we, uh, so yeah, so we would go up and play pool all the time against like the drunks and take their money. Well, that see, brother. I think that sounds like fun. Yeah, that's an adventure. Yeah. Ooh, look at all these pumpkins and flowers, Christina. That looks like my fall heaven. Nice. That'd be fun to work there. I think I would like to work around all the fruits and vegetables and pumpkins and flowers and all that. I think I could get down with that. Mm. Even just something fun to do on the side. You'd rather do that than just lay around and watch TV. Yes. I do not like staying still too long. We'll I'm see you, Anthony. Take care, buddy. Bye, Anthony. I can shoot right-handed and left-handed. Dang, Amar. Are you in any league? Any leagues? He's good at uh, darts, too, I think. Is he? And um, putt-putt. What happened with the putt-putt, Amar? You were supposed to be in Holy oh, Moly yeah. or something. Uh, I think things are rushed to grow with additives, like bananas. The Can ripen it, before the green is How did gone. they download it if you deleted it? Yeah, Amar, what's your deal with yeah. the show? I know, but you said it was the most downloaded show. The podcast. I just got Which doesn't include that, obviously. Do, do you think people think it does? And that's why they're downloading it? Yeah. Mm. I just got another update on the Queen's funeral. This funeral stuff is still going on. Like, this coffin yes. is traveling around. Now it's on its way to Windsor Castle that after final? the state funeral. It? They're like doing multiple. Uh, you got to do a lot of preservation on that body if it's going to keep well, going around. That's a lot. But they're, this is not the way you say it, but they've gutted her already. You know what I mean? What's oh. up, big boy? Hey. Doing, big boy? Did you go to the game? When they take the guts out. No, he didn't go to the game. Oh. They have somebody. They don't take embalmment, the... Embalmment. Yeah, they, they drain the fluids, They right? take but the guts they take out? It. Yes. Unless you're an organ donor? I don't you know. You think they leave the guts? That's what stinks. But it's inside the body. It's not like coming what out do you do of with the, the orifices. Deer? What do you do with the deer? You got it. But I don't think you do that to a human. You field dress it. Yeah, you field dress it. Do you know, field dress human. I've done makeup for, I have my aesthetics license. I've done um, makeup for dead people. Oh. That's weird. Do it's, they, they pay you more? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When you guys talk about gutting, I was like, man, are we getting into skinny stuff last year? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my oh, God. Oh, kitty. <laughs> oh, kitty. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, fun. This Kansas uh, frequency. Where's Kansas City? Here, why don't you go get on the microphone? Just for a second, anyways. Come on. Just so. This, this one? Yeah, it don't matter. Yeah, just Kenny, so people. Don't move, Kenny. You're fine, Kenny. Hey, Which Corey. questions do you have? Corey's here, guys. Yeah, let's come here to save the day. All Embalming, right. yeah, but do they really oh, gut oh. someone? Yeah, they take the guts out when they when you die. Say Next. something, Corey. I've got I've got more important okay. questions than. Whatever. Where's Kansas City? It's oh two. It's two and a half hours kidding. out of here. What about so? It's, what's the hotel you're staying at? Drury. Huh? Drury. Drury. Listen, dude, that's not a mis Midwest thing. You don't need that's to say a, Drury. A, maybe that hotel stay. Yeah. Drury. <laughs> don't, you don't need to say it. Maybe. No, you can, but you can't say the word Drury. Drury. Yeah, there you go. Drury. Yeah. It's a tongue tie. What about the? Here, the, just hang on. We'll make a break out of it. We're going to talk about it here anyway. <laughs> Perfect timing. We really were. Now, can I just hold it like this? Is this hey, yeah, they only drain like the blood 
like they it, leave guts. the guts inside. Yes. That is not you right. You don't gut a person like a deer unless they're like an organ donor. I guess it actually does make sense. Like if but you yeah, die, I've done a handful of makeup for our bodies for their makeup. It is not. Yeah, but they always you don't look the same even when you put makeup on. No, you dead don't. Face is different looking. And the texture. We got a new guy. We have no idea what he's going to sound like. Probably going to be pretty bad, I would assume, first day. <laughs> I thought about coming on and just being like, have an accent or something weird. Be you like, could. Hey. Hello, mate. How you doing? <laughs> I just, to, just to freak you guys out. I can't wait to hear uh, what he sounds like. Because it's different when you talk with three people, you know what I mean? Than sure. talking by talking by yourself. It's not easy to do. No, it's not. Yeah. It, that, there's not high expectations. Don't, don't keep them low. Yeah. You've been talking to yourself, though, the entire time you've been here over your apartment, yeah? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Practicing. <laughs> Nobody else to yeah, talk to. Yeah. Well, it's way more entertaining than talking to you. Oh, no <laughs> yeah. kidding. That's <Whoa>. fair. <laughs> this guy comes in here and he says, I got new guy questions. And then he starts with jokes. I don't know if, if he's real or not. Like yeah. he says, where's Kansas City? I thought he was for real. I'm like, well, go down 29. <laughs> he yeah. knows that. But then you ask, what'd you say? Drury? You don't know how to say no, Drury? I know. This is horrible radio. You're not supposed to admit that you don't know. what You're supposed to sound confident when you're no, on the radio, right? not us around here. Yeah. It's okay if you don't. Yeah, I, uh-uh. But I don't know no judgment. any of this stuff. This is our uh, Kansas freaking city getaway. So we're sending people to Kansas City, right? And it starts today. It's with the Greater Kansas City Attractions Association. So there's a lot of stuff that you can win in this. We got What you have to do is go... You tell me what questions you have, by the way, as okay. I'm explaining this. Well, first off, where is the hotel? Where, where I don't know. <laughs> it's in Kansas City. <laughs> no, how do you pronounce the hotel? Drury. I told you. Drury? You think I'm messing Drury. with you? I should have. I should have messed with yeah, you instead you of something been. else. <laughs> I know. It's called the Gary. Uh, it's a, <laughs> Drury is pronounced Gary in Kansas City. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, uh, we have all kinds of passes to a lot of stuff. Yeah, uh, well, it, obviously <laughs> Carolyn's country cousin's pumpkin patch. I got yep. that one down. Right, that's easy. Uh, go ape treetop journey. Go ape axe throwing. Kansas City Zoo. Is the zoo good? Just yeah, stop after good, that. Yeah. You don't need to read uh, the rest. Well, that's the other one. We should so probably leave that out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we don't want to go there, Corey. Because the, the other to, side of the sheet is, is... I haven't ventured no, over there on the air. We're not We're not <laughs> taking our time to venture to the right side. No, but it's interesting because I'm curious, like, does Kansas City have a really killer World War One <laughs> museum? Like, like, what's going on? I don't remember any wars being in Kansas City. But, like, what's the connection with World War One and Kansas City? Every time we have one of these, I think they just throw it in. Like, nobody's going. So, like, here, here's a we bunch of We have a quilt museum here, a roller skating museum. Yeah, I know. The, I drove by it the other day. I was actually pretty impressed. Well, I can't even believe that you have to have a pass or a ticket to get into this museum. Those like, things are, like, walking How is it not right? free? Like, we have passes. I don't mean to make fun of this. This yeah, is our getaway. This is our Kansas freaking city getaway. But this John's, is a horrible giveaway. The Johnson County Museum? Like, what what, what a, are they? What's in there? What's you can in there? pick and choose what you go to. What's in there? So, <laughs> yeah, uh, but that's explainable. Whatever Johnson County Museum, I'm sure they got some cool stuff. But what's the next? What is the next line? <laughs> I have no idea what Ma- the. And do you even know how to pronounce it? No, Mahaf, 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 Mahaf. No, what's Mahaffy. going on there? Oh, you know, I've never heard about the about the Mahaffy. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Historic site. You haven't heard about it. <laughs> so let's do this. One. It's funny. Get it's so it's in a way, we're giving away passes to a historic site. It's like you can, you can drive, you by, can it. drive <laughs> by it. Oh my God! This is okay. this is our Kansas freaking city. Anyway. I wonder if they just put this on here as jokes, or if this yeah, is like these goofballs in Lincoln. We'll talk yeah. about it. Oh my <laughs> this God. Guys from Lincoln never even been to Kansas. City. Oh my God! So now what's the Crown Center? That's got to be cool. The Crown Center is actually a big deal. Okay, big okay. Old okay. Gift that, card right there. That yeah. one. That's Megan shops there all the time. Okay. It's really Apparently, fancy. Yeah. High roller. Yeah. It's a fancy place. Yeah. Right. There's they, a bunch of other stuff that's good on here, but some of it. Uh, Do they know. got Louis Vuitton at uh, Crown Center? She knows. Yeah. I shop at the Plaza. I don't know about it's the Crown. It's the same. The Crown Center is just as fancy as the it's Plaza. It's nice. Yeah. Okay. I don't think there's... It's I don't not think that th- fancy. No. Okay. It's not. The Crown Center is not. It's okay. There might be like a Michael Kors Kenny coach. Would know. Kenny will ask Kenny. Oh, no, really. Kenny, no. any idea what the guy down there at Crown Center? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> we, don't either, Kenny. we don't either, Kenny. Uh, okay, so now I got a question for this this on air and then Facebook. Oh, please don't ask me a question I don't know the answer to. <laughs> I, thought you knew, I thought you ran this. Station. I'm excited to hear. What's your question? So, like, do you have a better chance of winning if you know the on air keyword versus the Facebook keyword? That's a keyword? good question, actually. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, if, if you, you know both. both. Yeah, bull. Yeah, you it's just an serious. extra chance yeah. to win. This is yeah. Did you you put an L in the both, don't you? There's bull. people under there. Bull. <laughs> bull. <laughs> you bull. got that. I heard no. it. Yes, I could. That's one. Was, I hear Who it. Who just said both? Both. Yeah. You did. I, yeah, say I did not bull. say. Not, yes, you did say whatever. both. It's okay. Put, put words in my yes, mouth. I know how to say Drury. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you out. So when you go to when you go to froggy981.com, you enter sunflowers. That's today. That's the keyword. Or if you go to our website, it'll say code word. It's the same thing. <laughs> keyword and code word. We're just. And then the Facebook uh, keyword. Can we, Kenny, do you know? You can nod. I don't care. <laughs> Kenny's not no. no. I don't know He's if that no. means he doesn't know. <sighs> or that's not up yet, is it? No. Okay. Nine o'clock is when that goes up. But I don't know if we're supposed to tell you that keyword or if you're supposed to go to Facebook I, and find the keyword. I thought you were supposed to wait for it, but maybe you can cheat. Kenny's nodding his head. You're supposed to go Facebook. Okay, no, we're not going to tell you what that is. That's a, so we can't say the keyword. You we already did earlier. I did earlier. Yeah, I did. It's extra. One. I, I said <laughs> both earlier this morning. Both, both of them. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> so you, we can't say the Facebook keyword. We're not on supposed the air. to. No, you can tease right. it. Ken, Kenny's observing. He's watching the on air. Kenny's he's listening. Very, he's yawning. Actually, I think that means we're done. <laughs> Kenny, you're yawning. This is boring, isn't it? It's not the best radio, is it? It's hot no, radio. He said this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. First thing in the morning. In the morning. Early in yeah, I don't get. I didn't want to like. I don't get the World of War One stuff. Hey, how was how was lunch out with Gary? What was that experience uh, like? It was it was very. Uh, you know, I taught him some. I gave him some pointers. Is it what you expected? Yeah, him I would outside say so. of his I'd element. Say so. Very professional. A lot of people oh. were you know throwing themselves on Gary and wanting oh, autographs and so. selfies and. People were like rioting around his I have, car. I have, I have to admit something. Just that it's a very, it's a douchebag moment. Of oh, mine. I love these moments. Yeah, yeah. I'm embarrassed to even tell, tell you. Tell me. But when she came over and she gave me my hamburger, yeah, and she said, "I have to tell you something." I thought she was going to say she was a listener. Uh, <laughs> I thought this lady was going to tell me she was a listener. What was it? It was your hamburger may not be cooked all the way. <laughs> 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 Like everybody listens. Like, to I'm like, oh, this is great. Got a new guy here. We have a listener. Oh, no, nope, your hamburger may be raw. Yeah, that that's was a hilarious. Weird. Yeah. She made you cut. cut she it. made me cut it right there in front of her. Right yeah. There, yeah. You had to cut it. Up I asked it for medium well. She goes, "This is not medium well." But do you, you want to take it back? a look? No, I said it was fine. But was it fine? Did you no. It, it was it, not, when she, when she came to pick moving. my plate up, I left the center of the burger because that was the rawest. It was like, I yeah, that's it was pretty raw. I never said anything. If it tasted like rotten, I would. <laughs> I do. I had one time I was, uh, we, I had, we had cr uh, crab. Yeah, an East Coast crab. Was it crab? Yeah, crab. And I've only had like Alaskan crab, right? East Coast crab, that's blue crab. It does not taste the same. Oh, no, that's true. I didn't that's know a, that. Yeah. I thought the crab was rotten. We went to this fancy <laughs> restaurant, and they gave me my crab. And I, the waiter came out, I said, I have to tell you. He goes, how's the meal? I said, I tell you, man, I think there's something wrong with your crab. This does not taste like goes, red lobster. Sir, I am so sorry. <laughs> so he went, and he brought another one out to me, and it same tasted thing. the same. And I said, wow. I said, I think we got a bad batch. We're only used I to said red it lobster, to him. yeah. We got a bad batch. He goes, so oh, good. I am. this is so embarrassing. So he went and brought another one, and it tasted the third batch he brought me. And at that moment, I just said, "Screw it! I'm it's just me. Gonna, I'm just going to eat it. This is the worst crab. This t w this no, this crab. restaurant is terrible." <laughs> and then I go and I do some research, and yeah, it just tastes like it tastes like Fresh, tuna fish. Fresh, It was weird. Yeah, yeah. not a good flavor. <laughs> yeah, I eat things off of a silver platter. My name is Gary. Yeah. Gary's not mud. professional crab. I don't crack the own shells. It was so Why bad. you made me crack the shells? <laughs> <laughs> I serve uh, it until somebody puts it in my mouth. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's funny. It was so this bad. This is bad crab. No, I'll send something back. I have allergies, though. Uh, so, like, if they put cheese on something and I say not to. The worst is when they argue with you. You're like, they're like, you didn't say that. You know you said it. They'll argue it. I don't know why, but I imagine you eating right now. Like you're eating probably 
like a college student. For sure. Totally. Yeah, you are. Yeah, sure. uh, Ramen. Uh, high V, really, mainly is high V. Are you? Yeah, I'm just do whatever. Like their deli, yeah. get stuff yeah, to go. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. You know, I, I shouldn't even admit to it. I'll, I'll eat it cold. Like, I don't believe in microwaves, so I'll, like, I'll get the, I don't know, whatever, chicken and rice, and I won't even heat it up. I'll just you don't really? even heat it. Yeah, I just go over to the side there with the corner and eat it and huh. judge what people. What corner? The, the little lunch and hang out. Oh, the, the oh. cafeteria. Oh. Cafeteria, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even Kitty thought it was funny. Kitty laughed at the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> like you went into the corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Because. You were ashamed to do you say have you ate like, in the Do you have like uh, silverware yeah, and stuff? Yeah, for sure. You do. Yeah, plastic, but it's all yeah. Uh, <laughs> what uh, what, do you guys get the high V gas card? Is that something that I'm going to You'll save her. Yeah, yeah I, I do, do that. I I'm a member. It. Where do you get gas Carry, um, Casey's usually. I go to Super C. What about you, Kenny? Quick shop. Quick, Quick shop. shop. Yeah, it don't matter to me. It doesn't matter. Mm, I don't do the gas saver. I, I feel like we all frequent our regulars, though. I don't. I go to wherever. You do? Yeah, kind of. I like going to the same place. I know, like they have the drinks I like. They have a snack that I like. I can get my gas. I just like my one place. Because I, I keep going, whenever I scan stuff, it's always like, get your fuel saver card. They ask every time, and yeah. I'm like, should I get that? Because that might be saving You should. Money. It's free. But I don't use a lot of gas. I live right across the street. Yeah. It doesn't hurt to get, because some days there's like triple triple points. Whoa. So when you do need gas. But I will tell you this, and I've said this, I don't, they're, Hy-Vee's a sponsor and so are, or not a sponsor, but a an advertiser. It's an incredible place to shop. It's expensive. It's a little higher than some of the other places. So, I mean, are you really, if you save a cent here on gas, yeah. when you can save maybe a little bit more? But I, you know, know I was at Target and I was like, you go, because that's where you said you shop. I because, shop at Target. Because I you're a high roller. And I was like, this stuff is expensive. I'm going to Hy-Vee. And there's no little cafeteria at Target. No, there's not. Which one to go to over here? Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing over there, that one. I've like, that's a, even a, the, the one, the big one is on, is South 40th Street. Yeah, that's the best one. That's it's not, a, but there's yeah. also not a cafeteria. If you want a cafeteria, stay where you are. Okay. Yeah. They have a cafeteria at the 40th Street? No. What do you mean? It no, closed? No, they took it out. Oh, well, you're talking about Target. Park. I was talking about yeah. Hy-Vee. Yeah, Hy-Vee, yeah. That's where yeah, you yeah. want to go then. Yeah, Hy-Vee's the spot. Food's good, too. Hy-Vee, Hy-Vee food I is good. I love Hy-Vee. Yeah, Hy-Vee's it's good. It's good. Yeah. I haven't I have had like their, food back and told them that was the worst thing I've Asian eaten. food there. Do, are you, do you yeah. like that kind of I eat it, but I eat it cold, so it, and it's horrible. How do you eat it cold when it comes know, out hot? I, that's why I change it up. So I Slovenia wants to know if you eat Hungry Man dinners. No. <clears throat> That's you don't horrible. go there. You look like a hungry man dinner guy. <laughs> Dude, no. You do. Oh, yeah, yeah. super savers kill great. the animal. And yeah, <laughs> got it. That's a hungry man dinner. Yeah. Get the upside app. You get food and gas money back. I've heard about the upside app actually. Um, but yeah, no, this weekend was good. I mean, I went down to the Cody Johnson concert. Oh, was that oh, good? Oh yeah. Did you have an extra ticket? Did you go no, by yourself? I went by myself, I, and I, they only bought me one ticket. Oh. Here, can you wait? We'll talk they expected about you to go Kenny, alone. can he sit where you are? Can we put him on the cam? Uh, Kenny, you're going to give up your... <laughs> Kenny don't care, do you, Kenny? Kenny just got... Kenny's like, please Kenny's like, let me here. get out of here yeah. <laughs> real quick. I'm get out of this, this, this pit of uninspired radio. Right. Poor Kenny. Uh, so I went to Cody Johnson, walked around town a little bit. That was cool. Yeah. Uh, and then... Uh, I didn't go to South Point. I, that was you did. Point. You were bored this week. What'd you do at South Point? Well, I wanted to go to Guitar Center. I had to get oh yeah, oh. there you go. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and then I went to the two record stores. I went to Lefty's and then uh, Lincoln Vinyl. Vinyl, yeah. Pretty good little spot. Yeah, they are. You find any gems? No, I, I'm pretty picky. Yeah. Mm, you probably got a lot of stuff already too, don't you? Like. Right. You can cash out. It's sent via PayPal. Oh, that's cool. I like when an app is legit. Haley said Kojo was amazing. Yeah. It was weird. So at the end of it, it was such a trip. I almost hate <coughs> saying this. So uh, Brooke came in. Well, first off, too, you, Gary and Brooke asked, are you staying for the whole concert? Oh, okay. And, um, because it's notorious, radio people duck out after like yeah. the first three songs. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm you like, yeah. talk close to that microphone, if you can. Yeah, I'm I'm going to stay for the whole show, right? That's that's what we do. And uh, and so uh, Brooke was ta- talking about a Morgan Wallen show that happened in Idaho. She was talking to a former employee, which will remain nameless, and uh, she said, "Did you stay for the whole concert?" And the guy said, "No." 
and I guess this guy had like a seizure and Morgan Wallace stopped the show and all this stuff. And she's like, that's why I stay for the whole concert. You never know what's going to happen. Or Brooke whatever. stays for the whole concert. Brooke stays for the whole concert. Oh, yeah. Right. Wow. Brooke's, Brooke's, a, <clears throat> Brooke's a trooper, right? She is. Yeah. And uh, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm changing things up. I'm going to stay for the whole concert because last place I was just like, whatever. So there, the song before the encore, this he stops the show because of a medical emergency. Who on Saturday? On co- yeah, no Friday, Friday night. Cody wow. Johnson stops it right, and because I had the conversation, you're gonna have to retell all this on the air. By the way, uh, well, I'm, <laughs> well, I'm thinking I'll, I'll have it honed in. By the okay, time. all right, this practice round. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And and so I I hate saying this, but when it was happening, I was thinking about what Brooke had just told me. Yeah. Right. And I, I almost felt like I, I didn't believe it. Like, you know, I mean, this guy right. did have a right. medical emergency. Right. Oh my Stop gosh. the show. And it's like, I'm just like, is this for real? Is this what's happening? And because you know how some shows are like so planned. Everything's like, mm-hmm. you know, hello, Omaha. Oh, right. wait, we're in Lincoln. And, yeah. and, you know, and they say the same <laughs> jokes over yeah. and over yes. again. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. You know, and yes. that just drives me nuts. And I hate saying this, but I was like, is this part of a show? Right. right. Like, these are, you, they're, you're my people. Every time I come back here, <laughs> yeah. you're the best. Yeah, fans. you're the best. And, Oh my gosh! I mean, I there's been sometimes where I've seen, you know, that's why it's great seeing guys like Keith Urban, right? It's yeah. a different yeah. show, different set yeah, yeah, list, yeah. everything's different. You know, it's spontaneous, right? Whereas then you see some guys, and you're just like, this is not. He did you this. tell all the towns that? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I feel ripped off. Right. But uh, he was good, man. The crowd. Was, I have got to meet some people. This is the bigger story. I oh. was whooping it up with some of Johanna's uh, high school playmates. No, that's yes. hilarious. Southern Valley, right? I never yeah, even yeah, yeah. knew. I so the uh, dude, the, the whole row freaked out once they Southern found, Valley. What are you talking about? That's where they said they're from. Where's know. Southern Valley? Uh, come on, Trisha Gary. saw you there. She just said. I'm trying to find out more about. That. Uh, did he look lost? It, it, <laughs> dude, that dude. So the truck was a nightmare. I the truck. The, Wait, I had to have a guy point me, tell me what the. Oh, that's the worst. To, to back me oh, up. Oh, see, Johanna's on here. And Johanna. Yeah, so the, Johanna, <laughs> d- d- I don't know if you know a guy She's named... She's not from Southern Valley. I don't even know what Southern Valley is. I don't is. know what that is either. She's from Furness that... County. My high school gar bar. Gar bear. Gear bear. What the heck is that? Oh, Gear Bear. She calls me Gear Bear. It's her little cute nickname. <laughs> so me. so these guys, dude, during during the before Randy uh, Randy Hauser to Cody Johnson, these this guy gave me a complete rundown of every because he found out he's all you work with Johanna. Yeah. And he even mentioned I don't even know, it's like her maybe it was her maiden name or whatever. Burrish. No, no Perkins. 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 Yeah. And they were like, Johanna Perkins. I'm like, I have no idea who that is, but and then they'd start talking about uh do I know the name? Yeah, it was Dexter. Uh, he's a wrestling stud. And then there was Clint. Did they date her? Of, all of them. All of them. <laughs> all, they were like, dude, she was the, she was the town bicycle. Uh, oh my god. No. <laughs> yeah, she got bet. Uh, so whatever story you want to lead with, man. She was uh, that one. That's when she was platinum girl back then. Dude, they were. That was her claim. To f- dude, these people freaked out. They wanted to buy me the fifteen dollar beers. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All um, because I know Johanna. <laughs> Trisha said you looked a little lost. I was oh, going to ask if you needed help, oh, that's but I was cute. in the line getting a oh, drink. Oh, Johanna, I need to come by for that yeah, ladder like, sometime. Oh. Mike has to do our <laughs> basement stairs. They used to call me. Hope. Oh, Jan- <laughs> Hi, yo. oh Jan- Yeah, I heard all about it. I think I even saw some pictures. That's uh, funny. Uh, oh, that's my funny. gosh. Listen to your favorite morning show on the Tracy's Collision Cam. Every morning. Just head over to Facebook. Facebook.com slash Froggy981. Just uh, over an hour away from some really, really good radio. Uh, Corey, who is new with the radio <laughs> new. High expectations, baby. He is brand new at the radio station. He's been uh, in Lincoln. How long have you been here? Uh, since last Saturday, a week. Oh, you've been here a week already? He starts uh, first day on the air is at 10 o'clock this morning, and he's getting to know the city a little bit. You know, he's he went to South Point over the weekend, and then he went, uh, oh, you went to Cody Johnson on Friday, Friday right? Friday night, yeah. Pinnacle Bank Arena. <clears throat> we were just talking about that on the Tracy's Collision Cam, finding out. Can you not hear? No, just I tell can't. me. I'm I sorry. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. Is radio. that loud enough for you? Uh, it's, I got too much Gary in the headphones. Right. So, <laughs> his ears are so sensitive. Yeah, I know, too much Gary. Is that better? Yeah. Just put mute on Gary. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Good plan. So we're, we're 
finding out from some listeners that they did see you at the show on Friday. I was there. Yeah. You Now, thankfully, we want to say thank you to Penthouse Amy. She bought him. <laughs> she had to buy him a ticket. Yeah. This, I don't even, that doesn't even sound, sound like real radio. Like, we work at a radio station. Oh, there were no other tickets? No, we didn't have any away. tickets for yeah, him. We gave them all away. We gave oh. them all the way to listeners. And then they says, do you want to go? I was like, I don't care. I can just park the truck. I'll walk around town. It's a great opportunity. And they're, like, demanding, you're going to go. And and then I before the show, fun and games department uh, head, uh, Maria, she's like, I sent you the tickets. And I'm like, I never got any tickets. And then I get the t- ticket and uh, <laughs> and, was, and, the ticket. and I was ticket. not complaining. I'm like, whatever. Uh-huh. Who was I going to take anyway? Well, they know you don't have anybody. Yeah, I'm just. And I was like, I go solo. It's cool. I've been to concerts before. I know yeah. the routine. Yeah. But uh, and then of course she, Maria, took me down there, where to park, how to park, where it's at, all this stuff. A boom. And then uh, th- I guess there was an important game on Saturday, and that, <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that brought in a bunch of people. And so everything was different. And I parked the truck in the wrong spot. This oh. guy came out from Pinnacle Bank. Is like, oh. you can't park here. You got to come over here, and I'm suit. And so I just parked the truck, put on some sunglasses, and like ran away from the truck after I parked it because I was so embarrassed. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I hit anything. I may have. Yeah, there's like rules where you can and can't park the truck. Yeah. <sighs> That's it. so it was, it really. So I get there, and uh, and then the couple shows. Uh, you know, opener was good, really good. Randy Hauser was good. And, oh yeah, uh, I love him. And uh, there were some pretty girls off to my left, and then there were these. Did that wild- make you nervous? A little bit, yeah. yeah. I was like, it was tough. Do you think like, you have game? Decent game? Well, I wasn't wearing my Team Gary shirt, so, <laughs> okay, I, I, wasn't, so I was lost. That wasn't helping you out. <laughs> and then off to the right, there were these, like, I don't want to call them hicks, but, you know, these guys were oh. slamming the bush light. Oh, sure. Yeah. And, uh, and they, and they were, this guy's like, hey, man, are you with those girls? And I'm like, no, nah, I'm just by myself. I just moved here from Oregon and da-da-da. And he's like, what, what kind of job would bring you from Oregon, man? And I was like, I'm in radio. And they started, they were like, do you know who? The, the ears leg- turned on. Yeah, they were like, do you know the legendary Johanna Perkins? Yeah. And I'm like, I, I know a Johanna, but I, I don't know. I don't think her name was Perkins. But anyhow, these guys went to school with her in uh, Southern Valley. And uh, What a small world. It is. It's it? so crazy. So he's, this guy, his name's Clint, and he's like, I lived in a town of 700 people, and that was too much people. <laughs> and, so um. and then he was, and then he, this is all between Randy Hauser and Cody Johnson. He gave me the full rundown of like what high school sports to root for, which, because some of it's uh, rigged because of the divisions. Right? <laughs> and then he was telling me about the population 50% of Nebraska's population is like on 27th and West. And he's like, oh yeah, that dumb thing. Yeah. yeah. So he's like, don't don't get fooled by that Nebraska, <laughs> the real Nebraska. And uh, so he's just popping off all these small uh, small towns. And then he says, yeah, we went to school with Johanna. And then like the whole row because these guys came for the concert and they were like doing a two for it and they were going for the game. And uh, man, the bush light was flowing and the Johanna stories were flowing. Yeah. And uh, these guys wanted to buy me the fifteen dollar but bush lights. Oh, those things like, are so expensive. So, so, you they, took well, it, right? No, I didn't buy it. I don't. He don't drink really. I don't drink. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. keep it classy, you know. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm with you. And then the stories, man, of Johanna. I don't. I don't. I don't think I can even repeat some of them on the radio. <laughs> uh, I'll just say, you know, she was uh, quite the looker. And uh, did they talk about the butt worms at all? The butt worms. Yeah. No. She's known for that around okay. around that area. <laughs> yeah. She used to have them, bad case of them. But the butt worms. Yes. Okay. What are yes. you talking about? You haven't heard about those either? Yes. No. I, I don't want to put words in are her you, mouth. You're not talking about hemorrhoids. You're talking about no. <laughs> butt no. worms? She yeah. had butt worms for real. She did. Well, I met the guy who gave her the butt worms. <laughs> <laughs> he was at the Cody Johnson concert. <laughs> Oh. oh my God! <laughs> I love it. She said it's true. Yeah, the butt worms. Yes, the hemorrhoids or the butt worms? Or he? Oh, it's both. true. He gave her the butt worms. Both. That's what, both. <laughs> <laughs> both. Dude, she was a legend in Southern Valley. Oh, she's a big deal. Dude, there's a sign. I guess when you walk drive through town, it's like the home of Johanna. Oh my yeah. God! Froggy ninety eight. <laughs> she said she was like seven years old. Yeah. She was a kid. She chewed her fingernails. She had dirt underneath them, and she got butt worms. That's the oh. whole deal. And no kidding, she actually was an inspiration to a little girl. I think we got an email because we talked about her at one time. This little girl had a case of the butt worms too, and the, Is so that she the felt better. Term? I don't know butt what worms? they. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> But this little girl felt so good about herself knowing that Johanna also had them. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Struggle's real. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah.
Well, I tell you what, man, uh, we're really happy to have you here. That's good. I hope you're excited to be here. Am well, thank you for going to things I don't want to go to. <laughs> yeah, I really that's, appreciate it. That's the real that's thank you right job. here. <laughs> uh, Corey, has, uh, he'll be on at 10 o'clock this, or- this morning. It's his first day really on the radio, even though he's been on with us about every morning. So make sure to uh, check him out again this morning starting at 10. Like a cup of coffee and a sunrise. You're listening to Gary and Johanna in the morning on Froggy 98. Hey, good morning. God. It's choking. Don't chew your nails, kids. I never I never chewed anything or I never ate boogers or chewed my nails. <laughs> Somebody ate boogers right now. Was that Johanna? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And that was, she joke? said she tried the scab too. What are you doing? You got a job? <laughs> no, this is like a regular thing. He's like, oh, I'm over this show. Yeah, I mean, I guess it, it, you guys are done at nine, right? Yeah, I mean, we're pretty much falling off at this point. Yeah, pinworms. Like... Is that what it was? Pinworms. But why butt worms? Do they actually like come out of your a hole? I'm thinking there's some type of fungus and. But like uh, maybe maybe it's dung. There's a dung beetle in there. Oh, so maybe it comes out in the in the poo, or what? Mm. But like, why why the butt? Why is it called butt worms? <laughs> maybe because most of it is in the butt because of the bacteria. But because you chew your fingernails, that's a place of more. I don't know. I don't, I'm gonna have to research this. My brain won't shut down about this yeah, long guess. after I leave. So, something that's weird. I'm cursed with that. Something that. An experience I had not too long. I had this sounds like what was I doing getting my fingerprints? But I yeah. got my fingerprints done, and they said that chewing your fingernail. I chew my fingernails, and they were saying something that screws up your fingerprints. Chewing your fingernails. Chewing the nail? Yeah. How's that? I have no idea. But That's the person, weird. yeah, they ran it. They says, I swear to God, Johanna, I have never eaten a booger. I was always very grossed out by boogers, but I was. I do remember sticking a booger. When I was young, but I never, I never ate a booger. I, I just didn't even, I wasn't curious of what it would, I'm a texture person, you know? Yeah, there's got to be a bunch of fungus. They're in your butt. Well, yeah, I get that. But like in your butt, like, I'll give you the butt worms lowdown, Cincinnati. Oh my God. I love you. I miss you. Oh my God. I miss her. Yeah. Tell me all about them. I'm going to come see you and Iggy. Get that ladder. I forgot about it. And then Mike's like went to go do the basement stairs. He forgot about it too. We haven't needed it. Well, I'll fill you in when I learn more about you the butt should worms. Google, just Google butt worms. Okay. There's symptoms of <laughs> just, Let's Google. Yeah, pinworm infection. It's pinworm, mayoclinic.org. Symptoms and causes. So it is called butt worms then? It's pinworms. Okay. Oh, pinworm. Itching of the area. Irritability. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Restlessness, stomach pain, nausea. So, oh. how do people get pin pinworms? Spread by fecal oral route. Hey, welcome back We're to learning. the show. Thanks, welcome back to the show, Gary. <laughs> it's good to have you on here. Thanks for covering. Yeah. Itchy butt. They come out at night. Lined out. Does he need bell money? Yeah, no, he just rough weekend? like during the show, so I always think it's an emergency. Uh, thanks, Joe. And what was he just like? Um, he uh, was at college, and he had a note on his car that said, warning, they're going to get towed, because he parked in an area that he shouldn't. And then he said, am I okay? I said, yeah, it's just a, it's a warning. <laughs> so he thought that he was still going to get towed. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, no, you're okay. Uh, I had to bribe someone once who was hooking my car up to tow it and i begged them not to do it and usually t- when they get your i know for. they took 50 bucks that's what i had on on Is me cash right? and they took it wow and let me go think so. about it that's kind of smart yeah. you can make some good side cash yeah yes it is I hate getting towed. That's the worst feeling in the world. Not oh, knowing I where know. your it's car so is. Helpless. Not having no idea where your car is. How often do you get towed? I've gotten towed probably I've been two towed or twice. three times. I've been towed twice. In Lincoln? Yeah. Yeah. And there's different tow lots. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there is. Yeah. So how, how do you know where, the, where your damn car is? Exactly. Uh, 
Now, is it true? Some places I've been, if you have a station vehicle, you can park in handicap spots and then nobody can do anything. Yeah, go ahead and do that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you never. <laughs> no. I have a handicap pass. Why? I earned it. So, like, I use For it sometimes. For what? Your heart? For, no, when I had, no, not my heart. When I had Lyme disease. Pat, you're taking advantage of the system. No, no, no. Yes, no. you are. No, because it went into my nervous system. So, I technically have a nervous system disorder. Like, I went in nervous system failure. No, you shouldn't be driving then. I can drive. <laughs> seems a little fishy. But no, I get, I have a permanent, permanent disability parking pass. Because I couldn't walk. For the rest of your life, you don't, it doesn't yes, have to I be. I get it like, forever. That is cool. I earned it, though. Can't you gift those to people? Like, if I were to gift give you. Gift them. If I were to give you. It's just a it's just a, a sticker. Like, they're never going yeah, to. Yeah, you could. You well, could, technically, okay. yeah, I mean. Like, if I give you gave you $50. And you're hard up for money? Yeah. So I have a handicap like sticker that doesn't expire until January of 2020. Wait, you, that's you why one? you're quiet over there. Yeah. Why vision, do you have one? Well, because I, well, the, cause, uh, I was staying with a person who has a handicap. Oh. And then so he you got, he gifted it to you. He doesn't drive. So you can like, get as many extras as you need. Like, say you lost it. You can get more they for free. If they you have one. Because I, I had lost one when I actually needed it. And they just sent me another one. And then I found the other one. And then I gave that do one to my use grandma. This? I don't no. use it. I have used it to tailgate before. I, you're you're going to look like you're not like you're not deserving of it. if you go to Target and you park in the oh, handicap I would never and you get do out that. of that. I would never do that. Yeah, I used it when I was going to a concert Chris Lane concert. Chris Lane concert there should be plenty of parking. <laughs> Like, I, I don't know. Do you no, have to I would never of, give him I, my pass. I fit in well with his fan base. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Your car license is on uh. the tag. Your car license is on the tag. Yeah, that, that, that won't work for me. I wouldn't do it but anyway. They, I'm a rule follower. Are the cops really going to look? They're just going to see the handicap sticker and think nothing of it. I've only they? used it once, and it was to drop something off at a tailgate, and there were no places to park. And then I left. I, I, if you do the hazards, are you okay just for like five minutes? I don't know. I'm scared of getting towed. I do that. We're still looking for somebody tomorrow for um, the I Do IQ Challenge. With Love and Jewelers. So if you're, uh, it doesn't matter. If you're divorced or you're married or you're, if you're uh, just started dating, we don't care. Brother, sister, and you want to be on the show tomorrow, then text us 474 Frog. We'll have some Billy Currington tickets. All right. Yeah. Were you friends with Billy Currington? What were you telling me? There's some kind of connection there. Yeah, I went to dinner with him. You went to dinner with him? I did. What kind of dinner was it? It was just like a dinner. Thing. Just one on one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys it just, see. It was just a dinner. See, come on. <laughs> no. Did he ask you to dinner? Yeah. Wait a minute. And then I ate. Wait a minute. Are we getting to some? <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Are we getting into something your husband isn't aware? Of? No, he knows. You. I told him. him. Yeah. That's a bragging moment for it you. It was. It was right. Yeah. It was right before him. Were you at the concert and he saw you and he he told his like his right hand man give her a rose and have was, her meet me back. Had been a station thing. I was. Yeah. It was. It was a station thing. Yeah. It was a station thing. So yeah. how did you meet him? I was a friend who was working at a station, and then I went with them, and then I met him. Yeah. And then he asked me to dinner. And you were, so. flirt, were you guys flirty to each other? We hung out a few times. And oh, it's, it's it, was, it was literally right before my husband. Really? Well, we don't yeah. need to get to that. Let's talk about the night. So how did the night progress? <laughs> it was just a nice dinner. Did you have drinks? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, but drink you then. don't drink. So I you drank drink. Then. So you no, drank. No, I drank then. That you was did. back when I drank. You yeah. Gotta be careful. Do you I think s- you guys were like there was some chemistry there? Did, was there like? Yeah, I mean, we just had a nice time. Good conversation. Do you feel he like was he, nice was, to me. he was like going to take you on the road? You were going to be a I, girl? I don't know. Did he ask you, you don't. about that? She's holding back. <laughs> She's holding back, back right now. Yeah. No, I, we hung out a, a handful of times. So I'll mm-hmm. say that. A hand, so he had to look you up. Look, yeah. So now would he go you, on tour? He, then a year later, he'd come back in town and remember you? Is that what went on? We, I, it was nice to have a friend. You know, if you visit somewhere, it's nice to know someone. How long was to this visit. friendship? Just it, it, what within about now? a year. Did you text him now and say, "Hey, you're coming to town. What's up?" No, I didn't. I'd never reached out. Well, this he had to reach time. out to he you, to, so he was reaching out to was you. Out to you. And it you was married, not very long. I've never even met your husband, but he ain't cool. <laughs> and yet, Billy Currington. Uh, uh, My husband's cooler uh, uh, than him. I'll be I honest. Don't know, man. He's cooler. Can you tell us one thing about it? Oh, my God. The music. (laughs) 
Like, did you guys, did you kiss him? <laughs> Is it because of the mouth thing? Because of how he sings? No. We're just <laughs> asking a simple question, yeah, just, Megan. Uh, yeah, this was, this this was in the past? You were a single yeah, woman? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You kissed him? Yeah. You kissed Billy Currington? Yes. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> we get some girls on here. Like there was, Johanna's claim to fame is she had one of the guys. She claims she was hit on on his bus while the dude's girlfriend was also on the bus because I don't doubt then the it. girlfriend then was giving Johanna the evil eyes. Now what? Show, what kind, I don't what doubt it. That this? stuff happens. Yeah, that that stuff happens. There was only one other one that happened like that. It oh, was she, because my uncle you in had Nashville. Another one. <laughs> yeah, there's only there's one two. Another one there's of only these two. That's it. Billy Currington and who else? Wow. You're, I have to name drop. Yeah, for sure. This you is, want to, or you wouldn't have brought up there's another yeah. one. No, be, and it's, it's yeah. a, it was a. I didn't know who he was at first. Sure. That's mm -hmm. what made that different. Yeah. Tim McGraw. I had no idea yeah, who he then was. Then you found out, right? Yeah, I thought he was literally just friends with my uncle. Period. So I went to dinner. That's it. That one was, that's no it. No kissy kissy afterwards. Uh, on that one. I've, yes. I've, <laughs> Whoa. <huh? laughs> You're making me sound like You're, something I'm, I'm not. I'm not making you sound like nothing. This stuff really this happened. This important it's stuff. True stories yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, no, it was, there's some good, nice, nice gentlemen. And you're not going to tell the us the name of that country music industry. <laughs> Is that one more popular or less popular than Billy Currington? Yeah. 